Hi, my name is Waji. I'm a musician and um, I'm on set. We're rehearsing for a play that, we sh that is showing on the 16th to the 18th of this month, um, Ewuro, which um, it's a Yoruba word for bitter leaf, I think. Get out of my way, woman! So that you grab me as a take of the prostitutes. Um, with regards to why we started this play in the first place, or why I'm part of this play, the story is about a woman, a widow, who lost her husband, and her, um, her husband's family has put her through um, hell, you know, un unthinkable things, not even putting into consideration her kids and, you know, her life, and that she's the one who actually lost someone as well. that um, is a stage play rather that um, it's um, shedding the light on the abusers or rather abuse that women go through in marriages uh, most especially the one that was um, shown in this play where the lady in question uh, where the lady in question um, the husband died and uh, she had to go through a lot because um, of her family traditions and everything and in the play I played a character called Ikemba one of the wicked 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 in-laws but the thing when you say the play they about not just to hope people eye to the things when you say people they suffer women they suffer both those when they talk about those when they talk, about, they talk about. plenty people often go through this and it's really 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 something that needs to be spoken about and in our own small way now we use stage play uh, take sure I mean we hope and believe that people will learn and to do something better. Government as well will do something better to stop things like this. What are you doing to me? She is going to shave off all your hair. Everything. Everything. Yeah, wait, wait. Now we honor my husband and shave my pockets. Honor him more by confessing it. Why? I'm not confessing. Hey, 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 she tried away. Hold it, hold it. She threw it away. Abomination, abomination. Abomination. What um, what um, men, what women go through, and then men doing something about it, and then. Uh, Learning how to control temper because it's very, very important for men to learn how to control their tempers um, when they are uh, turns when there is issue when um, they have family issues and all that. Basically, it's just to, to, to teach the society what women go through and then let them um, try and correct it. Like,
So you just go up and come down. Because of the line. Because of the line. Go up and come down. No, see it here. See it here. Yes! We are seeing us. Excuse me. Your husband has a. Your husband had. Hey! 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 Of course, I've been working on projects that has to do with violence against women and all of those things before now. This is the third edition. We've done two before, um, but the second one is still a wuro. So this is the second time I've been a wuro. And um, why I say this is the story of my own story is because um, um, in our different journeys of talking about violence against women and how to stop it, this time around, we paid a bit of more attention to widows and. Um, the story we're able to put together is um, an excerpt from my mom's story. I lost my dad about um, um, 19 years ago, and uh, she went through a bit of what we're seeing in this drama. And you know how it is that sometimes you experience something as a young child, and the thing stays in your memory forever. So um, one of the days, whilst I was trying to, you know, um, put together and that story, this just hit me that. You have experienced this thing, you have seen this thing, and it's been um, in your mind for a while. Why don't you just um, put a story together that shows what your mom went through and let's, let's talk about let let people hear, let people see it and let's see how we can reduce that um, aspect of violence against women. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!